Watch this! So, seated run, streamer invalid. But what this is going to do is, essentially, somebody has done a lot of work to like run a bot through the different seeds to isolate seeds that have an unreasonable amount of individual cards. And this is one of them. This is going to give us eight noxious fumes. Do a boss swap. And stinky time. We've got a corpse explosion and an acrobatics. This is looking pretty promising. No block but big booms. Yeah, we can better handle some of the... Um, probably want this way. Ooh, hexaghost is a little bit less than appealing. But we can better deal with some of the... These type of fights. Thanks to the corpse explosion. Well, ah uh, yes, the corpse explosion. There it is. Came a little late. Blur is a block card. And a good one at that. Do I need the healing like a coward? We're probably resting here anyway, right? <laughs> oh, I want to do this so bad. Okay, well now we're dead. Toxic Egg is good, though. But we also need to survive somehow. The Corpse Explosion doesn't exactly help me here. Get the block for next uh, fight. Crippling Cloud is another way to apply weak and accelerate the poison. Waffle time? Another Noxious Fumes. Deflect is a block card. This would have been nice. Would it have? No, it would be fine. Let's go here and maybe the Fire Potion. And we take a snooze. Uh, corpse explosion could potentially carry this fight. The problem is surviving long enough to get there. Dupe potion on the survivor here. Think we can survive this? Especially with that. Definitely with that. Is that just GG here? Did we make it? Best elite fight for this? Ooh. And we got the boot. Fantastic. These are not cards for me. Probably do need another snooze here. Although, I have a, rest, a second one coming up soon. Is there anything worth upgrading now? Probably the neutralize. Potion belts. Gonna need some potions. Let's go here. Remove a card? What would I even remove here? One of the noxious fumes? That would kind of defeat the purpose. I'm not really drawing towards anything right now with the acrobatics, but it could be good later. 
I don't think I want to lose the HP though right now. Like my health total is quite precious. Wow, we actually blocked for a turn. Incredible. Which one actually accelerates it more? Probably that. And you're dead. Let's get some block going into the next fight. All right, please give me something. Backflip. Upgraded backflip. I guess we just upgrade our block cards so that we can block. Oh, good god. Well, I guess I'm glad I did that. Okay, and this isn't that bad. Actually great. Okay. Power Potion also could help me get through the fight. Escape Plan is pretty often a block card. It could be Infinity Block if we get a second Escape Plan. So what am I lacking in this fight? Damage, maybe. Fast damage, I think. So maybe we just go with the Corpse Explosion to... Oh, that's such a feels-bad upgrade. Let's just do a Noxious Fumes. Probably do a power potion off rip. Uh, I think we take this and probably don't use it until we need it. That probably wins us the fight, though. I don't think there's any benefit to drawing here. Perfect block again. Good time for a blur. Things like dodge and roll footwork would be nice. Even just like a main deck. Um, wrath form. Wraith form. Multiple main deck wraith forms. I like pointing that there so that we accelerate the poison. This is looking kind of nice. Might have been... Well, we can just... This is free now. Okay. We did not need the Wraith form, it turns out. I was plain scared. Did we get all the Noxious Fumes in play, though? Yes. Gaming. That's an after image. And that's something we can upgrade as well. Okie dokie. Any runic pyramids? No. Oh, these are very bad. It's a genuinely black star. That's looking like the only one that actually helps me. <laughs> so yeah, it's gotta be. Doesn't feel great because I'm not like well prepared. I guess I have the corpse explosion, so maybe I can take on the um, Act 2 elites, but doesn't feel great. I've got a little bit of money. Might go to this shop. Or we could route around here, grab this shop. The thing is, I like, yeah, I got the Black Star, but I don't feel like I'm wanting to go elite hunting. Maybe I just grab every shop. If I grab every shop, that gives me the more cards to look at so that I can potentially get a Catalyst. Really only need to kill one of these guys. We can use the Fire Potion if need be. 
Maybe use both potions if need be. This kills, so it's probably worth... Footwork! Oh, just what we needed. Uh, we have Toxic Egg, so these are upgraded. Okay. And a Wraith Form? I can't afford the Wraith Form and the Dodge and Roll, but... Footwork and Stinky, starting to look like someone's browsing history. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost. Speaking of Ghost... I am a spooky ghost. Probably want to upgrade that wraith form here, and then we have to skip that store now, so we're taking an elite instead. Unless. Wait, we've already gotten value off of Pandora's box, right? Catalyst is unfortunately not a rare card, though, and that's the thing that we need. Do we ever change our path over here? Now that we're skipping the store. No, I think I want the campfire still, especially after an elite. It'd be really nice if we had the runic pyramid this run. Try and avoid taking damage since uh, we don't have a lot of health to work with. Okay. Uh oh. No, we're fine. Momentary panic there. Does prepared help me? It could help me find the apparitions, at least. Or the uh, wraith, wraith form. So I think we can take one here. It is upgraded. Speaking of, we grab a wraith form upgrade. And we're going to need it. I did this in the wrong order. I need to apply the weak. So I don't get the corpse explosion down is the problem here. But hopefully we can cycle through our deck or to get to it in time. Wraith form will help. But we do have uh, six total turns of intangible. That should be enough to get a kill. I just want to draw the two here so that we can uh, turn over our deck and hopefully find the corpse explosion. I don't think it actually matters, though. I think they're just going to die before we start taking real damage again. I got really frightening at the beginning, though. That first turn was not ideal.
Six turns of intangible, very strong, yeah. Oh good, we got a blue candle and a ninja scroll. We don't need damage right now, other than catalyst. Do I have upgrades that I need? After image? Yeah, after image and footwork. The problem is I'm taking on one elite here, no matter what I do. So I think I need the nap. Akabeko. I don't have attacks in my deck, so I think we just uh, grab the key here. Other than the, the ninja scrolls. Maybe I, with the ninja scrolls it would have been worth considering, but I don't know. I trust that the next relic is better. Let's go here. Let's get rid of this. And we can go here. Spam these so we don't shuffle them. Uh, immediately start regretting the lack of upgrade on the after image. I think I just double... Oh, I don't... That was a waste. Okay, well, we're fine. We do take three, though, which is a lot more than I'd like to take here. Because that after image came way too late. I don't even know how good the footwork is anymore now that we have all this intangible. Like, it shouldn't be super necessary once we... If we find a catalyst. I don't think a second corpse explosion helps me. Oh! Do I have a good rare card to give away? I could give away the corpse explosion. Is that crazy? I get max HP. I wish I would taken the other one now. I think I can get away with it, right? Like, what is it... What does it help me solve now that I have all this intangible? Get rid of footwork. That's another thing I'm considering just because it gives me health. But like, I think the max HP might be beneficial. Spirit Shield, Donu Deku. Uh, Donu Deku will die at the same time as the thing, right? Same thing with Spirit Shield. Like now that we have the intangible, we're less hurting for the like quick AOE damage. That's what we needed from the from it in Act 1, but I think it's worse now. Immediately feel a little bit of regret here. I didn't actually need to use that intangible, but I think we'll be fine. Don't need the neutralize. Let's go here, here, here. Like, we've just got six turns of intangible. That's what our deck is right now. And if we really need to accelerate things, the Crippling Cloud probably does a better job of it than um, the Corpse Explosion anyway. Case in point. Like, if that were the Corpse Explosion, things would die, but not in a meaningful difference of time. Leg Sweep is a block card. Is it a good one right now, though, for what our deck is trying to do? Sure. Sort of justifies the... It's good into this fight. This is probably our Flex Potion.
Okay. Uh, I don't actually need this here. Excellent. Uh, where's the wraith for him? Uh oh. I want to draw right now so that I can get closer to the wraith form. Okay, we might not need the wraith form next turn, which is nice. Because we didn't hit it. <laughs> All right, that blur was quite good. Still no wraith. Well on. met. Are there sweet. any more free money buttons? This works only once a month, but it is already very generous of you to help students so much. Is that what's happening? Because uh, that was also a tier one, so that was not free like you get with Twitch Prime. Uh, but thank you anyway, Lex. Appreciate the three months. Uh, is there a better line than just the Wraith form here? I guess it's worth checking. Doesn't seem like it. I don't have a way to do the uh, three points of damage unless I play the backflip, which puts me at risk. So we just take three damage here. No, we take more than three. That's a lot of stabbings. Ow. Check with prepared. We knew what the top two cards of our deck were. There's... There was no reason to check with prepared. Or a Calcum. Could have been interesting, but we got the uh, after image. I guess it still technically can if we find, like, some of the intangible stuff before the after image. Do not like this fight with this deck, especially without... This is one situation where the corpse explosion might have been helpful. All right. I don't think I want to draw right now. I think I just want to go here, here, here. Calcum is actually coming in handy here. I think this guy attacks pretty much for the rest of this fight, right? So let's just stack our intangible. And we wait out the stinky. Should be GG from here. Any catalysts? Second prepared actually could be worthwhile. We're just digging well for the met. intangible. Any other roguelikes or games in general you're interested in playing on stream? Uh, yeah, probably eventually. Always a possibility. Thank you, uh, Sleepy Dog Boy, for the six months. Let's grab the other prepared just to find the intangible. And then I think we are snoozer males here. I'm still a little bit afraid of this fight. But should I be? The upside is we get a bottled after image. I'm a coward. Don't laugh at me, chat. Okay, we really just want to set all of our noxious fumes where we can. So that's the game plan here. This is the most that we can. Uh oh. So it's 35 coming at me. I block for 15, 17. 
I'm afraid it's a little too early for the Wraith form is the problem. I'm also afraid that if I don't set the Wraith form now, I'm going to have a hard time doing so later. And I this will be the only source of damage I'm able to take. Can I kill in six turns? Because that's really what the question is. One... Two, three, four, five, six. I've got six times twelve. Ugh. I think I have to take it here. It gets the after image down as well. Actually, I can block through this one as well. At least mostly. We had those guys set up for a kill. That was ideal. Okay, now we can become a spooky ghost, right? I think now I have to become a spooky ghost. <laughs> Do I have any more fumes? Yes, I need to play them. Okay, as long as we don't draw horrendously, we should be fine from here. Maybe even if we do draw horrendously. Want to leave those in my deck? Because, like, right now... Oh, no. Uh, we just double play these, right? Because I have enough to cover the next, uh, or I have enough damage here. Yeah. Alright. This actually makes for much more interesting decisions than I was expecting. I would just love to find a catalyst eventually, so that I can beat the heart. I don't think I take any of these, do I? I've got enough to draw. I don't have a lot of energy for the doppel. And the thousand cuts is, again, solving a problem that we don't have. I don't have any cards that I want to remove or transform, unless I were certain that I'm getting a catalyst. Doppel is free, though, with plus? Yeah, but it's it's a card the turn that you draw it, right? So you, you give up a card draw on an early turn to draw more on a later turn. But the early turns often are where my draws are most important. Being stinky is a path of life that carries more careful considering than would have been presumed truly. Stinky is the path to intellectual enlightenment. Yeah. Reject m modernity, return to stinky. I think it's just got to be the slaver's caller, right? We do have to take on the burning man this round, so... All right, where art thou, Burning Man? Uh, this is another chance at Catalyst. So we go here, probably this path. It looks gross. I don't like it. So pray for me, chat. Hope we get a Catalyst. Hard puzzles to solve and a bunch of noxious fumes. Call that a thinky stinky. Oh, thank you, Kali. I like it. Let's just go intangible here. This should be a short fight. Copium.
can block through it again, as well as draw some cards. Cool. We're all set. Oh! Oh, that's so big. The catalyst pickup does mean that the corpse explosion loss is a bigger hit, right? Because that would actually change the speed at which we kill Donu Deco. I still like having the extra hit points, though. Spread these out. Spooky ghost. Oh, the after image is actually trolling me. Cost me two points of health. Three points of health. Let's see if we can find another fumes. a silly goose but we might as well keep the intangible rolling okay those are the two cards I was looking for here and good fight Yeah, but you that AK. Sorry about the lack of YouTube stream today. Things, uh... You can blame Rarin for it. Uh, I didn't have time after we were playing uh, Uno earlier. Nah. Like, does... Oh! That could have been good. Does the footwork actually become the um, the card remove here? It's kind of getting in the way. I would definitely like the Master of Strategy. And then I have some left over. I could either get a potion or the footwork. There's a chance the footwork could be useful for longer fights. I don't know. I think we keep it. There goes some of our max HP. That, well, fortunately we don't have much HP, so we can't lose all that much either. Anyway. Alright. Um, I don't think I want the extra elite. I'm a coward. This is... scary. boot actually saving here oh my god the boot oh the boot I've never been one for authoritarianism, but I think I want to smooch that boot right now. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, we're just trying to shuffle the deck for next turn so we can get back to the intangibles. Thank you, Kali.
God bless you, Wraith Form. I'm really glad that I shuffled my deck. This was actually a legitimately very scary fight. If the draw didn't go the way that it did. I think we have enough draw. Probably don't need the expertise. I think we're resting because we are planning to take on the Burning Elite. I know it's cowardly. I know I keep doing it, but I feel like we keep needing it. Okay, should be fine to just go here, here, here. And then start working our way through Exploding Man. Maybe the after image was the thing I needed to cut because of the aura calcum. Oh, I have to play this this turn, don't I? Otherwise I take even more damage. This is why we rested. I only take two though. Yeah, I considered doing Claws for Defect, but, like, this is the obvious one. Uh, Frost Prime already did it. I'm already kind of biting his thing as it stands anyway, We're so. gonna be rich. You want a tip, eh? Well, here's a tip for you. $2 okay. reduce minus the stream elements cut. Uh, appreciate that. The good old yoink and twist. Yeah, it's, it's actually, it's actually okay that I'm biting his, uh, his bit because he's the bigger streamer. In fact, it's morally good. I'm like Robin Hood, so you're welcome. That said, we'll probably do a claw run at some point too. Let's take an event. Get some money. Um, I've already got this key. Oh! I told you we didn't need the Akabeko. <laughs> I don't think that actually helps me all that much. But it fits with what the deck's doing. God, do I have to shuffle these shows? Jeez, that was close. Oh my, oh no, I don't have attacks. Uh. Hmm. Well, welcome to my deck, curse. Please be kind to me. It's gonna happen again now, isn't it? Can it curse me twice in the same fight? Surely not, right? It cannot, okay. So now we just need to not die, which I am a little bit better at than I am at removing curses. We can just go into spooky ghost mode and just kind of relax for the rest of this fight now that we've already got the curse.
Alright. It's not ideal. I do not want to have a curse in any deck. But this one in particular does kind of hurt. You always talk to Shirley, but we never meet her. How come Shirley is never on stream with you? Uh, she lives in the void. Um, which is what I call my basement. And she's not allowed out of it. But thank you, Cathandrian. Good question. Okay, this might be one of the better fights we could have gotten here, right? I know this isn't maximizing damage, I just need to dump these because I'm not smart enough to figure out the optimal way of getting them in play. You need to not worry too much about... Wow. At least we can get rid of this. That helps me somehow. Hmm, not a great time for any of these cards in hand right now. I think with the card draw we can just go in though. I've got more card draw for the other stuff. I think we can win in however many turns. Yeah, we have the Swift Potion as well. I think we'll be fine. Just need to find the Catalyst now. Good time for it. GG. That was the burning man too. Nunchaku is useless. Nunchaku. Blur is not useless. What are we looking for? Just like another copy of Catalyst, I guess. Okay. As well, see if we can get that other noxious fumes. Nice. Just a reminder, recall at the next rest site. Thank you. I've been doing a lot of snoozing, so. Understandable that you would remind me there. Perfect block. And GG. Now let's get this catalyst rolling. 124 to you, good sir. Oh god. Oh no. What if we get the burge? <laughs> Alright, let's discard this. Deflect. I don't think I have an answer to the Awakened one, do I? Hmm. 
It's probably not the best block that I could have done here. Speaking of, uh, we do have Auric. We don't have Auric Halcom. All right, we just take it here. We probably have to save the uh, either the intangible or the power or the, the catalyst for the second phase. I'm not sure which. It'll probably depend a little bit on our draw order. Maybe both. That could actually help quite a bit to accelerate the game. I don't really like it here, but... Just hit the second catalyst. That's a solution, actually. I don't think I play the uh, preparation here. Actually, yes, I do. Might not have been necessary to play the uh, second one. In fact, it wasn't. I mean, this should get me there, right? I do take a point of damage. Just go in on the catalyst here. Jeez, that escalated quickly. All right. Skip these. Take our recall. See if we can sort this out. I think we lead with this. Actually, I should have led with this. That was a mistake. Is this another take it situation? I am being aware. So we take 10 here. They scale off, so I think I have to just take it. I think that that was a really poor turn one. And I need to clean up my plays if I want to win this fight. I go footwork, all of these. That's uh, 10, 10, 19, 27. That's a full block. So I can get rid of this and play the right hand side of my hand. Oh, I need to get rid of another card. Oof. Can I afford not to get the noxious fumes down is the problem. It's 16, 24. Five, if I... I don't need the footwork. 
right? 16, 25. Twenty-three. Where did I get the five from? Oh, because I was still adding the plus two to the uh, survivor. Twenty-five percent less damage. So it'll be seventy-five percent of thirty. 22, which will have more block than. It's not already weakened, right? No. We'll have exactly as much block as. The problem here, though, is that I've just drawn past all of my intangible. So this might need to be the... Uh, draw potion. That turn one is really coming back to haunt me right now. Okay. So not the cards I needed. Oh my god. Uh, this is bad. Anything I need to play in here? No. I think we still get there, but I'm left in a horrendous position for next fight, which I needed not to be. So I guess we pray for Time Eater. see the catalyst at a time where it made sense. That turn one is really, really coming back to haunt me. Okay. Nobody has ever been happier to see a time eater than me right now. I just missed all of my intangible. Wow. Um, it took, what, 10 damage unnecessarily? I think I would have been dead this turn pretty much no matter what. Potions are poison and uh, artifact. They don't help me. I think even if I didn't have such a bad fight against Donu Deka, which mostly was just the turn one, I don't think we were going to survive this turn. Maybe there was a situation earlier in the fight, or other than that first turn that could have been, that could have saved me some health. But I think we were just kind of always dying to Time Eater here, right? With this specific draw. Because taking 18 here is... Like... A substantial portion of my health. Recalling at the second rest site rather than resting, you'd have uh, 13 more health, yeah. Yeah, if I, if I had been able to... If I had recalled earlier, I would have been able to rest at the... The final site. That's a bummer. Well... We can prevent uh, Time Eater from getting the, having the satisfaction, right? I 
I think I was more afraid of the burning elite than I needed to be, is really what it comes down to. 